a so common criticism is that the board. there's uh, too many uh, stakeholders in the decision pipeline uh, when public money is involved with creating new housing blocks. Uh, that it's uh, easier and faster to use private money to do so, especially with the builder's remedy, which is that 1990s clause mm -hmm. that allows homeowners, or sorry, builders to come in and bypass local zoning laws mm -hmm. and- uh, If they default on yeah, the, the promise to, you know, the governor. Them. Yeah. yeah. Right. Uh, how, how do you feel about that? Is that, that a solution at the statewide level for Los Angeles' housing problems? You know, I, I, don't, I, I don't know that that is the singular solution. I think that we've got to, um, first of all, all of us as individuals decide that we are no longer willing to live in a city, a county, in a civilized society that walks past people who are unhoused. We, as, as residents of this county, have to acknowledge that we are willing to do all that we can to house every resident and that we have to, you know, have honest conversations with ourselves about who the unhoused are. I think that there are these broad assumptions. They're all mentally ill, not true. They all are choosing to live on the street, not, not true. true. There are people who are go to work every day who are living in their cars because they simply can't afford it. And so I think the housing strategy has to be as broad and diverse as the needs of the people who need housing. And so private need to step up and build. Um, um, nonprofit organizations need to be empowered with resources to step up and build. Government needs to, to be in the building business, and we have been in recent decades where historically government didn't build. Um, government's job was to get out of the way for private developers, but to also hold private developers accountable. accountable. Um, to making sure that they are building what the community needs. It's not just about a purely for-profit endeavor. Uh, you look around at the construction that has happened, there's lots of unaffordable housing units that sit vacant. Those three towers that they built in my old favorite parking lot when I'd go see the, the Lakers at, uh, you know, downtown, um, those three high-rise, and it's like, who lives there? Mm -hmm. You know, the average rent on those units is astronomical and so it's what we build where we build it and for who and it's really you know as far as like the community input because a lot of people they think about homelessness and they go well the the county's not doing enough the city's not doing enough but then when it actually comes down to it they're the people that are rejecting these proposals in their community to you know actually have these go forward and show up and and our the, the response is ugly and visceral <laughs> Yeah. And my response is the unhoused are our family, friends, and neighbors. I did a tour of a um, new apartment complex on the Crenshaw Corridor that was built using containers. So I was like, you know, I'm visual. I have to see. Does it look like a boxcar? You know, what does it look <laughs> like when you get inside? They were quite small, some single, some one bedrooms. And I was in there thinking, oh, my God, I, you know, I couldn't turn around twice in here. I couldn't fit all my, you know. Just my junk. I've accumulated 59 years in the planet. I had a couple of young staffers with me, and they were like, "When are the leases? When are you going to open it up? When are the leases available?" <laughs> and it occurred to me that everyone has different housing needs. And so while my Baldwin Hills constituents who complained about that complex being built, oh, you didn't build parking. They're going to park in our neighborhoods. They're too small. Who's going to live there? The place filled up instantly. It's on the metro line. And so there is a segment of the population who that kind of housing does work for. So I told my Baldwin Hills residents, because, you know, you all stay in your lovely big houses that you have ascended to. There's another generation of people, young, older, those who want to downsize, who this works for. And so we've got to build differently for different kinds of people.